Hello. My name is Amrita Sethi, and I'm an assistant professor of medicine at Columbia University in New York Presbyterian Hospital in New York. The senior author on this paper is Dr. Raj Shah, associate professor of medicine at the University of Colorado in Denver. Our study is entitled, ERCP and cholangiopancreatoscopy may be associated with higher rates of complications than ERCP alone, a single center experience. This study was performed at the University of Colorado in Denver. On behalf of the authors for this study, I'd like to thank the editors of GIA for giving us the opportunity to share our data with the GI community. We felt that this study was important to do for two reasons. The first is a persistent interest in identifying and understanding complications related to the procedures that we perform. The second pertains to understanding new technology that's available to us. While cholangiopancreatoscopy is not a new procedure, newer devices, indications, and applications for this procedure have resulted in the practice of cholangiopancreatoscopy spreading to the wider GI community. And in developing standard practices, it's important to understand the limitations and possible inherent risks that may exist with, the, with these procedures in order to help better select and educate patients regarding the risks that are posed to them. We felt that there was very little data available in the literature regarding the risks of cholangiopancreatoscopy. This study was possible for two reasons. First, we had access to a large comprehensive database that was prospectively recorded of complications associated with endoscopic procedures performed at the University of Colorado. Second, we felt that we had a large single center experience with cholangiopancreatoscopy where the procedures were performed by a limited number of endoscopists. This combination of a complications database and a large experience with cholangiopancreatoscopy gave us a unique opportunity to evaluate for any associated risks with this procedure. In this study, we describe the indications, maneuvers, and complications of over 3,400 ERCPs and over 400 cholangiopancreatoscopies. We use definitions of ERCP complications as has been previously described in the literature. Our results showed that there was a significantly higher rate of cholangitis in cases of ERCP with cholangiopancreatoscopy, a rate of 1%, versus ERCP alone, a rate of 0.2%. In addition, there was a significantly higher rate of overall adverse events when cholangiopancreatoscopy was performed with ERCP versus ERCP alone. Based on these findings, we suggest that there may be increased risk of performing cholangiopancreatoscopy compared to ERCP alone. As discussed in our paper, there are some limitations to our study. First of all, the complications database is dependent on physician self-reporting and possible underreporting may have biased our results. Secondly, we can make no conclusions regarding risk factors for these complications that we've identified due to limitations in the way our data was collected. While it's possible that necessary maneuvers for cholangiopancreatoscopy, such as irrigation, may contribute to the higher rates of cholangitis, we can make no conclusions regarding causality. Perhaps the questions raised in our study will help foster additional studies to further determine whether specific factors such as irrigation rate, irrigant type, or whether adequate drainage of the bile duct may contribute to these complications. In addition, future studies may also help determine whether prophylactic antibiotics are required. Prospective studies would be valuable in helping to standardize some of our more complex procedures, such as cholangiopancreatoscopy. Currently, there is renewed interest in revising the way in which the GI community reports complications. Recently, there was a publication that proposed a new lexicon for describing adverse events. The results of our study support the idea that perhaps we should expand our thoughts regarding complications related to ERCP beyond the traditionally reported consensus complications. We look forward to prospective studies that can help expand upon the results found in our study. Thank you.